Hello, welcome back to Vox Terra. So the society's not getting the message we should be getting from COVID-19 and the message we should be getting from these closures. Why aren't we getting that message? That because I believe the media is largely owned by different business interests and that's especially true in the so-called right-wing media. And these business interests wanna protect the system and get us through with as little questioning of the system as possible. So instead of questioning the system, our attention, much of the public's attention was focused on various forms of China bashing, which only resulted in a lot of prejudice aimed at people who look Asian. But China really is besides the point in all of this. The virus merely emerged there most likely, or it was merely discovered there. Remember, COVID-19, as I've shown you earlier, is a, is a variation or a mutation of the coronavirus. And the common cold itself is a type of coronavirus, at least as one of its forms. So rather than focusing our attention on China, where the attention should be focused is on the system. So lesson one is our system is not adding value, it's detracting value from our lives. Well. What, what do I mean by that? Look, remember when these first closures first started happening in China, there were some articles put out, and I shared one with you, about how air quality itself actually improved. And that improvement in air quality isn't nothing. Okay, That auto exhaust is linked to lower infant birth weights. It's linked to higher mortality rates. It's linked to asthma. It's linked to heart attacks. It's linked to cancer and other many other ailments. In addition, all this air pollution is linked to the superheating of our planet, which is destabilizing our climate. So by lowering that air pollution, objectively, life actually improved. So by limiting our activities to necessary services only, there is an objective improving of our life quality. But the media isn't focusing on that amazing and troubling fact about our economy, that in a sense we're being paid to poison ourselves. We're being paid to just fill our earth with disposable plastic nonsense. Lesson two is the system won't take a rest. We're also dependent on this buy, sell, how do I make money, even if making money is really poisoning us, even if making money is causing us more harm than good. We're also dependent on it. We can't just shut the system down and give it a rest so it doesn't spread a deadly disease around. Well, that's also actually, interestingly, contrary to the Bible. And that was highlighted for me in the Pope's book, Laudato Si, where he cited Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, and other chapters to show that we're called not only to take a rest on a Sunday once a week, but actually take a total annual rest for a year once every seven years. But yet this economy never stops running. Lesson three is the system is steering our lives towards just short-term consumer purchases. It's not focusing us in any sense that I can really see on the long-term survival of our species, or even the midterm. So when we're hit with these pandemics or natural disasters that in my opinion are brought on by all the pollution we're causing, we're not prepared for them because our lives are geared up towards simply making a dollar any way we can by getting people to buy something. So when the pandemic came, we're not prepared with a personal protective gear or enough hospitals or that type of thing. But in the bigger sense, our careers, our lives work is not geared up towards anything really future looking. I've heard you know, warnings since I was a kid about what we are doing to our environment, yet over those decades, there's been no major push towards how do we get a reusable, local, sustainable economy. I've also heard from the, some of the same scientists warning about the heating of our planet, ideas for how we could settle space. Yet, those ideas have just been mocked over my lifetime and made no effort to even try to get off the planet. Instead, just basically sit here, wait for our extinction either brought on by our own hands or a natural disaster, and mock visionaries. That's what this system has done. Lesson four. We're taught that our, our consumer capitalist system is supposed to be dynamic. And, and those old Soviet systems were stodgy and dull. And, and But yet here we are, constantly bailing out our system. It, it's COVID-19 now, 
but it's it's been the banking crisis, the auto crisis, just massive public funds to keep business as usual going. And that happens on a daily basis in ways we're barely aware of. So instead of living from crisis to crisis and a constant bailing out, hoping to get back to normal, when normal, in my opinion, got us in this mess, it'd be better to focus on shifting away from this system or at least improving it. So Joe Biden has his build back better. Well, that's a good concept. Now, Joe Biden has his own ties with the business community and people will have their own profit motives, so he'll need to be watched. But it's a better than just going back to business as usual. During the Democratic primaries, I thought Andrew Yang's idea of a universal basic income was excellent because you, it would give people the opportunity to chart their lives forward and if they choose in a less toxic, less polluting direction. And I liked Bernie Sanders the most because he was questioning the entire system and then calling for the public to grab this system while we still can and reshape it towards a Green New Deal. So we're not just endlessly poisoning ourselves and going from crisis to crisis. But the big lesson we should be getting is that returning to normal, as everyone's calling to doing, is not a good idea. We'll be here all over again in one sense or another. We need to be visionary and forward-looking. Take COVID-19 as a great warning to change this system. If you're religious, take it as a warning from God. As the Pope highlighted in his book Laudato Si, in Genesis, the reason God brought on the flood, the underreported reason in my opinion, is that, quoting, I have determined to make an end of flesh because the world is filled with violence through them. So what do we see? A system based on just drilling our earth, ripping things out of it, selling disposable products that are carcinogenic, and then defending the system by getting everyone angry at another country or getting one angry at some outnumbered group of people. So take a pause. Question the system. Support people that are more visionary. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please share the video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please click that notification bell. Please support, consider becoming a, a donor, a Patreon, or, or a PayPal. And until next time, peace be with you.